Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to make this pencil. Uh, we'll be using a few different techniques um, including splitting bodies, uh, applying appearance to a surface and to a whole body and um, using revolve. So follow along and see how you go. So this one, we're going to start with a sketch on, it doesn't really matter what plane you choose, I'm going to choose the top plane, and I'm going to pick a polygon, a circumscribed polygon, and drag it out six sides, so I'm going to make that uh, seven millimeters. Um, then we will finish the sketch. I'm going to extrude this now. 170 millimeters. You can see that's going to be the shaft of the pencil. So you'll see it taking shape as we go along. Now I'm going to do another sketch on this plane. This time it's going to be a circle. I'm just going to project this point over here so I can snap to it with my center diameter circle. So select circle, click on the origin. And there we go, finish sketch. Now I'm going to extrude this. And I'm going to make that um, 15 millimeters. And it's going to be a new body. So you'll see why later, uh, why we need new bodies. Um, so that we can add appearance to them and get it to look how we want. So now I've got that. That will be the little metal part at the end that holds the eraser. I'm going to extrude again. I can just click on this circle, make sure it's new body, and we'll make that 7 millimeters. So new body. So there we've got the The eraser sticking over the edge a bit. We can put a nice little fillet on there. Um, there we go. Now what we're going to do is we've got the shaft, we've got the little metal part and the eraser. Now we want to sharpen this pencil. So we could add a cone on the end or we can just cut into this pencil. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a sketch now on this right plane. Just zoom out so I can find the right plane. I'm going to project this top line, P for project. I'm just going to need this as a reference. And let me project this line. So now I'll draw a line, L for line. This is going to be a construction line. Now I want it from the center there, so I can see it snapped to the center. And this is going to go down 20 millimeters. And then I'll repeat that step, draw another line up to that point there. Again, we're going to choose line. This time I'm going to deselect construction line, so it's a solid line. And it's snapping to that center point there. And from there, we're just drawing a profile now. That's going to be our cutting tool. See, I drag it down to just touch that dot, and then it's got that dotted line to show that it's in line with it. So there we've got our, our cutting tool. I'm going to select Revolve now. You see, it selected that for me, and the axis will be this axis here. Okay, but I'm not. I'm not happy with that. That doesn't look it's a bit too short and stubby. So let's go back into that drawing. And make this line. We'll make it 30. You see how it's adjusted all my lines because they were constrained to this line. That looks a bit better. Um, so now we've got most of the pencil but we can't really identify where the tip of the pencil is. So I'm going to 
construct a new plane. I'm going to show you how to split a body using a plane. So I'm selecting this plane as my offset plane. I'm just going to drag it to the point where I think the ledge should start. And I'm not quite happy with that. There we go. So now we've got this plane over here. We're going to select the split body tool. I'm going to select this body and the splitting tool will be this plane. You can see it nicely highlights it there where it's going to be intersecting. I'm just going to turn off this plane. So now as far as the construction goes, that's what we're looking for. But we need to add some appearances to it. So I'm just going to go right click appearance and I want to get some a wood finish. So I'll just type in there wood. Got this cherry wood. I'll apply it to this whole body, not just a face, the whole body. So that that part sticking out will carry the color. Um, and then we want I want something black for the tip of the pencil. You just drag it over and it places it on the body. And then I don't think I've got a pink. I tried pink earlier. Something pink. Um, rubber. See we've got these. Oh, we can just use a, a white. And you can see because they're different bodies it allows me to apply it to just that body. Um, now we'll choose a metal. Aluminium satin. So you drag it over and it will select that body. So that's more or less what we're looking for. Now I want to apply um, a coating to to a surface. So I've got a red and a black here that I want to use. If I just drag it over it's going to highlight the whole body. So what I need to do is first click on a face then drag it over. See I can either put it on the whole body or apply it to just that surface. So I'm going to do that with all the black sides. See, I forgot to do it there. I need to select the side or the face and then apply it to the face. And then we're going to go with the red. First select the face. Again, I forgot to select the face. Anyway, we'll get there eventually. Last one, select the face and then drag it over. Now if we zoom out we can see we've got a nice pencil. It's a bit short and stubby, it probably could have been a bit longer. Uh, but that's how we make a pencil and we can apply some appearances to the surface as well as to the body of what we're making. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please like and subscribe, leave a comment um get in touch my email address is in the description it's fusionfundamentals at gmail.com until next time bye